Billy Creek Village where we're at tonight has some insane, insane haunted stories that I'm gonna let you know about. We're gonna try to help write the history of the town and, and kind of bring out a little bit more light to what is really going on in here. Go ahead and touch him. Breathe on Get out of here. Dude, what? Okay, what the hell is that? That, all right. What are, you, what are you trying to tell me right now? Yo, hey, where are you? Somebody out here? Oh, somebody's laughing. Oh, What's up everybody, my name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel and welcome to another late night haunted adventure. We had to run into town to grab some bug spray because uh, back at the Billy Creek Village where we're at tonight, has some insane, insane haunted stories that I'm gonna let you know about here in the video, but it's also got even more insane mosquitoes the size of Chris out there, and they these f are massive. They're huge. They're, they like, one picked me up and started flying away, <laughs> flying away, and like Chris like came and grabbed my leg and like pulled me back down. I was like, shit. I thought he was gone forever. So uh, yeah, I bought two of these cans. We came into town. We're like, you know what? We're gonna start the intro right here. Billy Creek Village, let's go ahead, let's get into this video if you don't mind. Subscribe to Chris's channel, right down there, link in the description. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you please need to do so. And also, Club Motivated is officially launched. If you go to this link right here, or go to your app store, whether you got Android or you got Apple, download Club Motivated, become a part of the team, and I'm telling you right now, it is the greatest decision that you will make this year. If you just got married, this is an even better decision. Let's roll this video. So here at Billy Creek Village, all of the buildings were relocated from somewhere in the county to this property right here. A couple hundred acres of land, and here we have a village. So any historical, valuable type of property that had a good piece of history for that town or the county would come here instead of being torn down. So we did a lot of internet sleuthing trying to find the history of Billy Creek Village. There's little bits and pieces all throughout the internet that we found. Chris found, I should say. Couple. Couple very, things. Very, very few. <laughs> he had to dig deep into like page 10 of Google at this point, but yeah. uh, he did find some stuff out. Now, it matches and correlates with the story uh, that the owner, Greg, told us when he opened the gates up here and said, it's a free for all, go investigate, help write the story of Billy Creek Village. We need to know more information. And that's what tonight's agenda is, is finding information out. But we did a little bit of sleuthing, but in person. We went to the 36 Saloon right down the street from here earlier today. We spent about four hours in there and talked to a couple of the older gentlemen at the bar and they gave us a little bit of history about what they knew. And I'm telling you right now, throughout this video, it's gonna blow your mind. Now, these could be wise tales, this could be factual information, but I've got a pretty good feeling that the sources that these have come from, you're gonna be wow. Today, towards the end of our little bar session where we were sitting and talking to people, the one of the last gentlemen we talked to was telling us the story, which I'm gonna preface this, this sounded a little bit crazy to me, a little far-fetched, but again, the people who lived here have been in this town for hundreds of years, them, their families, their cousins, their relatives, They've been here for a long time. The guy at the bar told us that his uncle told him this story. Again, don't know if this is true, but apparently at the school back in the day, there was a teacher who was the, the teacher for the whole town. Had all the students there all the time. The teacher did not like teaching. For whatever reason, went to work every day, hated their job. This did not treat the children properly, which really sucks. You hate to hear that. But one day, this little girl snuck into the school very early. Now, he told us that her father was the blacksmith in town, so maybe, again, a little far-fetched, but... Who knows? Stuck into her dad's office, her workshop, grabbed a hammer and a spike, and this little girl hammered a spike into the teacher's chair, right up through it. The teacher comes in around eight o'clock, whenever they came to teach, sat down on the spike, and died right there in the school. Now again, that sounded a little wild to me, but how do we know? Uh, again, there's no history of this, nah, other he, than one death record in that building. Cor correct. correct. He said it was on record, and I'm like, alright, perfect, where's the record at? So like, we can back this up. Usually you go to a location, the owner knows just about everything that's happened there. Well, Greg just recently acquired Billy Creek Village, and before then, it really wasn't ran as like, it was kind of a tourist attraction, somewhat, but like, not enough to be 
a lot of people coming in and out of there or whatever. And I think some of the town history uh, is kind of kept a little bit secret to, you know, because again, this building could have came from 30 miles away, this one was 10 miles away or whatever, and they are yeah. all brought here to preserve. And sometimes the stories travel with the buildings and sometimes they don't. Absolutely. You gotta think about this. The guy's story, he was either, a car salesman one or the greatest bullshitter I've ever met in my life because yeah. when he was telling us this story there was no like us this that pauses in the story this dude motored straight through this story like he's told it a hundred times and he knew this was real they knew that this yes. happened now that's the only convincing part yes the one part that's hanging me up right now is how in the do you not see a spike through the bottom of the chair? I don't know. You just pull your chair Maybe out. Maybe it was like a you do. nail. Yeah. It could have been something. a nail. He said spike. It could have been just like a tall nail. But hey, you go to the same chair every day for 20 years. I guess, You yeah. pull it out and you sit down with your teeth and you just... You know what I could see? is like uh, getting tetanus back then. Maybe it was a rusty nail. Nailed it through the bottom of the thing. That's possible she too. She sat on it and later on died. That'd be a little more believable. I don't know. Now, the, there is one little piece of information that kind of backs us up. When we walked into the school earlier with Greg, there's a picture hanging on the wall that somebody took within the past 50 years and they ended up catching an apparition of a little girl standing in the school. It looks just like a, a little figure of a girl standing there. So again, it kind of backs up the story, but we don't really know if, if this really happened. So. so until we get the spirit box out yeah. and we're going to try get some information. Know, we're going to try, try to help write the history of the town and, and kind of bring out a little bit more light to what is really going on in here. Yeah. So there's a couple of things that we were told to be prepared for and to look out for tonight. Moving shadow figures in the background, not only of the buildings, but outside as well. Now there is a town square, and this is where things get really creepy. It's rumored that kids are out there playing at night as if it was a town way back in the 1800s, and people hear children uh, laughing, crying sometimes, or even just a disembodied voice of a child saying something. So we're gonna be paying attention to that. This might be a little bit more of a quieter video when we're around that town square. The general store is another hot spot for paranormal activity. And if you think about it, it's the most commonly used building in a town is a general store or a grocery store. I mean, just look at any of your buildings in town. What's the most popular one? It's probably the grocery store. So inside the general store, we're gonna have a couple of experiments to Tonight that we are going to try not only with some uh, soda bottles put up all around but we're going to use those as trigger objects and we are going to pretend as if we are working in the store and see if we can get anything to come across on the spirit box and a couple of their experiments so I don't know how this is gonna work but uh, I've never worked in a general store before have you three days Oh, you did work in a convenience store for three days, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, worst three days of my life. Really? Yep. Well, you got three another done. couple hours in here. Damn it. <laughs> thought I was done forever. <laughs> And then people say that if you go into the Catholic church and you start up a spirit box in there, that you will actually pick up on some Latin terms coming through. And it's kind of in a mean and derogatory way. So if any of you know Latin and you hear the spirit box tonight at any point in time, please, please, please comment below. Translate any of that stuff for us that we might miss in this video. So without any further ado, let's get going. Creep out or anything or are you good? Feeling great. Great to be here. I know that's a f lie. <laughs> oh my god. No, nah, for real, it's good. This isn't bad. Why do we put ourselves in the creepiest positions? Like, we're so stupid. Like, we could get, like, anybody to come film with us, but we're like, no, we're just gonna go by ourselves. Yeah, no, no, you're 100% you're right. We're idiots. Middle of the woods, by ourselves. Damn, snakes and spiders and shit out here, too, probably. Yeah. It's June, so you know they're out. Like oh, absolutely. You're like hawking in the grass, like waiting to just like... <laughs> Take your ass. Who's in the general store? Why are the lights on? Uh, when Greg opened that up for us, he turned the light out before we left. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's weird. Do we just go in there and... See if we now? could if you want to. That's a little bit strange if you ask me. chills. <laughs> <laughs> it's already starting. I don't like it. I feel, I, you know, I try to tell you how, like, how I feel in the videos because I, I want you all to get a, a gist of, like, how, what the vibe is here. You know, you could watch a video a hundred times and have a different vibe every time that you do it because you get more comfortable and comfortable and comfortable watching. But this here. What's that?
There ain't no way in hell that was a disembodied voice. Is that possible? I mean, it's, it's literally what they say they hear a lot. Like, this is the town square right here. Yeah, it's all fun stuff. Is that a is that a wedding chapel right there? Right here in the middle. I think so. It'd be crazy as hell to get married these days, anyway. Much less here. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you? I can't. I'm against marriage, 100. percent What is that? It's the carriage. You don't hear I that? Heard, I, like, I heard. I heard the, the clicking. I heard the clicking, but I didn't know. If... It's not even. Dude. It's 11.05. That is wild. <laughs> That's literally insane. What is that? Something like reflective. Right, so there's a car in the distance. Let's listen in for the, for the hose. <sighs> you guys hear it? This place was not that creepy in the daytime, but <laughs> wouldn't you know? How are the lights off now? The only light that's on is the uh, the fridge. Come on. How did we miss that? Maybe they tried to distract us with the horse and the carriage sound. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow, it's weird here. Damn, that's a weird feeling here. Shit, I didn't know the door was going to close that hard. Good God. Sorry, Greg. Damn. Holy shit, bud. This is crazy. Look, here's where we're gonna be working tonight, Chris. Hey! <laughs> come on over. Going on. Come on down. Let's get yourself here. a cold pop. Would you like a cold pop? I'd like two, please. All right, that's 15 cents. Damn, your prices you are high. You gotta take your uh, take your pick down there at the uh, drink machine there, son. All sonny. right, see what we got. See what we got. All oh, right, we son. got uh, that Gatorade. My great granddaddy went to that. Okay, I I pretty sure they didn't have Gatorade back then. No, I'm just kidding. But what's uh? Let's just check this place out. Oof. Oh, how were all the lights on in here when we were walking up, and now there's nothing. No. Uh, where's the lights we check? Right. Turn them on. Is there? <sighs> Don't even know where the light switch is. Oh wait, it was out back here, wasn't it? Look at all the sodas. I know, it's all like the old school sodas. It's so cool. Oh wow, it's outside. That's cool. Okay. The windows. Another fun fact for you. The general store also used to serve multi-purpose as the mailbox for your house, right? Or your P.O. box as it would be called these days. So you would come in here. You would open up these things, and this is where your mail would be, right in here. So, a little old school, old school cash register right here. Man, I, I, just, I have this weird feeling here, man. Yeah, strange. Old Those piano. Are, uh, chills. Huh. Here's an old map of uh, Billy Creek Village as well. Old pot machine. We cleared this place. Yeah. The lights are on back here. The lights were on up there. Yeah, I'll show you guys. It's pitch black. Where the hell is the light switch at? That's for that there. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is a. Uh... Yeah, there's too much shit in here for me to like. I know. You know what I mean? It's too many shat. What? What? Well, let me see. There's too many shadows moving. And oh wait, that's okay. See out like? there on the um. Oh okay. To the door. Jeez, man. Scare ourselves. Relax, relax. We're good. All right, well, we cleared the property. Let's head home. All right, let's just drive around the rest of the night. Have a that wouldn't be bad. We're on the ground right there. All right, next up is the doctor's office. The doctor's office served multi purpose as the doctor's office and the dentist's office. There's some original stuff in here. All right, too many spirits in here. We come for uh, 
an exam. Um, Chris came for his yearly uh, lady appointment. So he's going to hop up there on the table a little bit later and you can examine him out. Yeah, check me out, Doc. So there's all kinds of tools that they used to use. Some of the original stuff is still here from this building right here. Very heavy feeling in here. And then, this, this is where it gets a little weird. So weird. That was weird. I'm just gonna say something rattled, maybe. Look at all these teeth. All the teeth impressions and stuff. And again, this is some of the original stuff that was here, so. And then the, the chair. Did you see this over here? What? The teeth? Oh, gosh. Medicine. Uh -uh. That poor perp. Sedation or depression? This is like a medical science book, I guess. Old one? Yeah, a really old one. But check out that chair now, dude. Isn't that not creepy? That's so awful. It was probably really nice back in the day, but like, you walk into your dentist office and they have this equipment in here? Mm -mm. <clears throat> so you're not touching my teeth? I don't think so. <clears throat> and then 40 years from now, if people are going to say the same stuff about what we're sitting in right now, I don't know. Dentist office. That's know. true. Yeah. Oh, that equipment was pretty painful. How do you think the Novocaine was back then? What in the f did they use that for? Ugh. Open up. I give you a hundred dollars to put that in your mouth. Mm, I'm alright. I'm alright. We can come back here. Don't worry. Offer still on the table. I have my tetanus shot. Yeah, I'm good, man. Here's a name, Harris Rice, MD. So could we ask for Harris later maybe then? I think so. Oh, oh. Dr. Harris J. Rice was born in Shelby County, Kentucky on August 8, 1823. Uh, in 1989, Dr. Rice's descendants donated the village office and much of his medical equipment and historical photos. Our interpreter will be most happy to point out. Uh, uh, That's pretty cool. Wow. Like how there's history. These buildings all over the place. What's that? Imagine this full of people. I feel like it's full of people. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, it literally feels like there's like hundreds of people staring at us right now. Probably are. Because there's not many people that come and visit this anymore. And used to back in the day, it was a few and far between it then. Oh shit, forgot the key for this. This is a print press. Oh, I have the key. Obviously, he didn't watch our uh, Crescent video with you uh, trying to wake up prisoners. So now I'm giving you the keys. What's that? What's a cat? What the f is that? Are you sure it's a f cat, dude? Uh. Oh, come on. Bro, this guy got glowing eyes. Huh? Look at it. Well, hurry up. Let's get in here. A bobcat? <laughs> what is it? I don't see it. Oh. Oh, it's a cat. It's close. Are you sure? I see it. Yeah, I can see it in the camera. Look. Hey, kitty, kitty. Oh, f I'm allergic to cats. Come here. It's scared of something. Something scared shit out of it. Or it's lonely. Hey, little kitty. Oh, it's all gray. It's cute. Yeah, I'm going to Come here. You play with the cat out there. No, I'm good. I'll come in. I'll come in. Just want some loving. 
Oh, this is. I'm gonna call Greg and see if that's his cat or like a cat that he like knows that's around here or something. Hey, kitty, kitty. Casper. I get canceled for leaving the cat outside. All right, so this in here is the printing press equipment back in the day. So your newspapers, your advertisements for local businesses, all of that was done right inside here. And it's all original equipment. Uh, they spray this down still. As you can see, it kind of looks like grease and stuff, but there's like um, oil that you can spray on this old steel equipment that'll keep it from rusting. And that's what they're doing with all this stuff. Maybe we need to touch up that while we're here. If we have a thing in there somewhere, I don't know. Okay. Huh. That's a creepy ass building right there. I don't even know why. Try like how I think it bites. Hmm? I think it bites. Be careful. Are you shitting me? Yeah. The cat bite? No, it's joking. It's gonna pop up behind us and scare us soon. I just know it though. I, I honestly, I just feel like we're being watched from 360 <laughs> degrees around us. I, it just feels like. That. I mean, look at the town square though. It's set up so perfectly, and we've heard so many stories about how spirits can like make little communities together. Mm. Oh. I thought that railing was like a white lady standing there. Man. We're like freaking ourselves out too. I know. It's not helping our calls. I think it's because we're so close to ISS. I'm finally a door right, my size. Here is the village bar and restaurant right here. Bartender pouring me something strong. Oh shit, it's a, it's a real kitchen back here. Well, kind of. Is it? Not really. What you want? You want some bourbon or whiskey? Yes. Bourbon or whiskey? What you want? What you want? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Imagine having to use this thing for change. Come on. <laughs> you can do fun send this mother like this until it like calculates the price. <laughs> Cents. 48 cents. Jeez, honey, what'd you get? Well, I got three cheeseburgers for the road. Be a bumpy ride. We can't afford the three cheeseburgers right now. See, so told you. Some bullshit like that. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything because I don't break nothing, but. It's pretty cool. Doris and Scott Del Rio. I'll take Bitcoin. I don't know what's more fearful, going first or going last in this whole town. Going last. You think so? Yeah. Hey, let's go in the, uh, the, uh... Ah! Yeah. What? Cat, man, it's right there. Now you just scurried off. <laughs> man, this thing is funny. Cat, you should have me. I'm so sorry. I was going to yell cat jokingly, but you scared yourself. What the hell is that? <laughs> that is a creepy sound. Alright, let's go see what that is. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Everything's fine. You can tell we die first in scary movie because we're going towards the sand. Hello? Hello? It's deeper in the woods now. Hello? Yo, can I get the uh, van key before you go in there? I'm not. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not trying to die today. Let's watch our backs, you know, in case there's like bobcats out here or something. 
That's what I was just thinking. They got bobcats in the mountains. More than likely. Alright, so this was the Jewish church, or not the Jewish church. Uh, Catholic. Catholic. Wait, did the Jewish and good church? I think so. Oh, what? Oh, that got me earlier, too. Jesus. Jesus. He's scared. Moses right there at the front door. I was walking through here earlier, and I could just see people sitting in these stools. It was so weird. Well, that's walking? I'm going to say, sure. Because I don't want it to be anything else. church was this again? Catholic. Catholic. What was your favorite song in church? Oh, uh, I didn't go to Catholic church. Okay. What was that? Huh? Can you hear that? What? Someone came through the camera. It was like a high-pitched noise. Oh, you got headphones on, don't you? I can hear a little better. It was like a squeal, almost like that cat, but not quite. So, keep on keeping on. Okay. I might just have to move that thing. If we're gonna come in that here, just tonight, spin it around. Yeah, something. Lay it down on the floor, or I don't know. Oh, this is all Greek or Latin. Can you read any of it? Gentibus rivalasti custodia opere murincare tere tue ut esseliesa tua toto orbi diffusia stab. Oh, what the f was that? God, I apologize, I did not mean to cuss in church, but what, what was that? It's because you were saying land, making fun of it probably? I'm not making fun of it, I'm legitimately trying to read it. I, I'm a slow reader. Like maybe, maybe we should just uh, hold off on that. Okay. <laughs> what moved though? I don't know. Let me keep on reading because obviously we got something. Yeah, go ahead, keep reading. Oremias et pro omnibus episcopos. Jeez. I've had moments in my life where I feel dumb, but this is definitely taking the cake right here trying to read Latin. Uh, all of it starts with Omen Potens Sympatirini Desus. That's the same damn page. And that one. Okay. I'm gonna go to like. Probably a song or something. I'm gonna like. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, geez, I was saying. There we go. Confetiro Dio Amneponotini Bite Marie Semper Virgini. You're doing great, keep going. I didn't know you took Latin in school. Yeah, I took Latin for uh um, it started about three minutes ago. Awesome. Well, what's that say? Jesus. Deus cuhemene substantiente. What? Someone in the back. Can you imagine all the pictures on the walls just like fell off all of a sudden? You I, 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 I would. Uh, we did the van and go. Cool. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm not here. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm not here for that. Okay. What's in this? Is that safe? Oh, somebody donated money. Look. There's some money in there. Okay, so that's like what, J for Jesus? What's his last name? Jesus H. what? Christ. That's an S. Oh. I think it says this. Oh, God. Okay. My bad. You 
you know, use that and you're supposed to feel pretty comfortable in here. It feels a little weird here. I wonder if the spirits get upset that they moved these buildings off the property that they were on. Oh, I know they did. I, I hate the ceiling right here. I was way more comfortable up there. Way more comfortable. I feel like I'm walking through people right now. Something happened back here. Nothing on the floors? There's wood right there. I wonder if that moved or something. Oh, I got chills right now. I do too. I don't like that. Bye. Come here, cat. Alright, next building. Next. How many minutes have we recorded so far, sir? Uh, it's about 20. Hey, hey. What's next? Ooh. Oh, that's another weird feeling building. Is it rain? I think so. Why is it so like moist? Welcome to school. I wonder if this is like private or public school. You know what I mean? Yeah, did they have it back in the day? I don't know. I would love to know the teacher's name. Miss Jackson? So real quick, I just want to show you guys. This is the picture that they said they caught this uh, operation. Chris, what the f***? No, no, no. Why is the f***ing rope swinging? Oh, why dude. is that even Why is there even a rope? What the hell is that doing? What the f***? Why is that swinging? Jeez. Wait, did the door hit it? Oh. Okay, thank goodness. Good mother Oh, that's great. Anyways, that's the operation. I thought you could see it right there. What are you doing? I'm filming this thing. What are you doing? Nothing. In case you're wondering. School competition. Here we go. Anything good? Learn to play T ha toe. You mean tic tac toe? There's no way they were teaching this back in school. There's no way. Nah, that game is really easy. You don't need to teach that. Did you show them the picture of the little girl? Yeah, thing? that is so weird. What in the heck? Why would they have so many ropes and, and, and weird stuff? Maybe. Oh, it's jump ropes. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, here's a baseball bat so they'd probably pick out there and play with. Hmm. And there wasn't really much to do. You couldn't go on Tic Tac and watch videos of mm. Kalani the Ghost Hunter, so. No. Hello, welcome to class, everybody. My name's CJ, I got my friend Chris here with me. Alright, so supposedly, I'm sure the chair is not here, but this is an old chair, I'm sure. Yeah. You ever tried to write with one of those um, ink pens or quill pens or anything? Imagine you doing this, you try to write with this thing and you got this thing like flipping around like tickling somebody. <laughs> oh no, feather pens. That's, that's what I'm saying. Oh wow. You have to dab it in some ink and... I don't know how to do it. Here you go. Like like after like four or five times I write because I like push into it. You want to go sit one of the student? The pupil? You want to be a pupil? Yeah, oh wait, what is this? Will that fit in this? Oh, it's beef jerky. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Dude, a little tight. Alright class, calm down, calm down. Let's just listen in for a few minutes. I like this stuff very much. What are you going to do? Slap my wrist? Do it. Do it. You can walk into your office next week here and have one of those on your desk.
No disrespect, but George Washington was one of the ugliest bastards in history. What? No, George Washington was one of the ugliest bastards in history. No disrespect at all. Great guy. You see the picture of him up there? Why is that like fogged up right there? I don't know. I don't know, I might have, I don't know what I heard. Whatever I did hear though, it, it was, it, it could have been classified as like a laugh. Okay. Very, very weird. And this is the other church, right? Mm -hmm. This is the Baptist church? Yep. And then this is where all the kids played, so I mean, this is crazy. It's like fire. Church seems a little nicer than the other church. She got. Come on up and check this out. Damn. I'm not with this every day, but that's a little strange looking, is it not? That's so weird. I don't like that. My nephew Brady couldn't even fit in one of the chairs. No. <laughs> Guys got jokes. Top of the not helping. Stay quiet here, right? <clears throat> not at all. This is uh, Mike's Bible. It says it right there. What's this say? Robert? Robert? Something? How do you read that? I don't know, it's drunk people handwriting. That's why I call cursive. Look at this, 1952. Indiana Telephone News.
way too quiet in here. Maybe I use the building like a satellite, like a little creek. Yeah. Say we go get uh, some of the paranormal gear here, and let's uh, start investigating some of these buildings. I say we um, the governor's house is another house right up here. Uh, the tenth governor of the state of Indiana actually lived in this house, and that's why it was preserved. I guess the uh, the first through the ninth didn't really count. Whatever the tenth one did, he did a mighty fine job to save his house. I guess I don't know. But uh, we'll grab the gear and we'll go into that. Maybe a little later. Yeah. Right. Hey there, I just want to know if we're talking to either the spirit of the child or the teacher. Are either of you here with us? Or just introduce yourself. The ninth hour. Ninth hour. Could you tell me what happened at the ninth hour? Or is something bad going to happen? Did something happen inside the school? For good. Could you give me a rundown of what happened? Sharp. Sharp. Hmm. Was there a sharp object thrown? Was somebody stabbed or hurt here? Could you just fill us in? That's weird. Hmm. Who did it? Who was hurt and who hurt somebody? I wasn't there, so I don't know what happened, but I want to know. What happened? I'm getting the most insane feedback in this. I just want you to listen for a second. Did it static and feedback? Yeah. Very weird. What do you think that is? So it's feedback over top of static. That's strange. From what I've learned and even experienced before, but I guess something heavy trying to move through it. Is it? I don't like that. I right, still want to communicate with you. You can talk to my friend sitting next to the chalkboard. There's the spirit of the teacher of the child here. I heard something about a sharp object. We heard a story. Punch. Are you aggressive or mad about something? Mommy. Oh. Did you have an aggressive parent, maybe? 20. 20. Is that how many students were here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's 25 desks, but maybe 20 students. Say my name. I don't know your name, but I can tell you my name is Chris, and CJ is sitting next to the chalkboard. Ooh, I have a cold chill on my right leg. I wonder if you're touching my leg. I can feel that. I'm by the road. What are you doing by the road? That's not a safe place for you to be. Can okay. you come to this? Okay. Hmm. Can you come to the school and talk to us? We can come help you look for whatever you're looking for. In the yard. Hmm. 
Might be a child. Are you playing in the yard right now? With, are your friends out there? I see you. Do you see me? I'm right here. Come on in. Come talk to us. The door's unlocked. Sorry, it sounds like footsteps walking outside, but might be going crazy. I'll come find you. You should come find me. I told you to come in. I'm right here. You better start looking. I'm looking all over the place. I don't see you. Bro, I, I, my whole body is nothing but chills. Like, I don't know what you're asking, but it, it, this is weird. Keep doing that to my friend. Go ahead. Get over there and touch him. Let him know you're here with us. You can whisper into that little light on the desk. A little red light sitting there. It's right in the middle there. We're only here to communicate Hold with your you. Head. Go out. Does it bother you that we're in here? Because we can leave. Oh, was that a spare box or was that a BBB? Sounds like a child. Look. Let me know where to look, and I'll look. Mrs. Somebody. Mrs. Somebody, is that the teacher? I don't know what the name was, this is Mrs. and something. I'll change you. Hmm, are you the one who put the nail through the chair and hurt your teacher? Can you keep talking to us? Tell us what happened that day that your teacher was killed. If that actually happened. Hmm. What do you see? Hmm. You good? Yeah, I think I just uh, creepy crawled into that on my back. Either that or something just touched me on my back. I fed chills all over my legs. I'm not sure. But it sounds like we were talking to a child, possibly. Standing outside. It was pre predominantly, it sounded like a, um, a female. Okay. There was a couple times where it was male, but I, I don't, I couldn't tell you which one was which unless I started saying male voice this, male voice that, female voice this, whatever. Okay, it's up to you. You want to go, keep going or you want to go somewhere else? Yeah. Keep going. A little more? I just super uncomfortable in here. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a weird. I don't know if it's because of the uh, story that they were told, but. It's a little strange. Don't freak out is what it just said. Really? I'm talking to you. He's coming. Oh boy, who's coming? Are you scared of this person? Because we can protect you. He's here. Yo. I don't see him. Where is he? Damn, man. Tell him to come in here. Come sit down on the desk and talk to us. He looks uncomfortable. Is the professor here right now? We'd love to talk to whoever's in the room. Can we get a name? We haven't got any names yet. Miss Moore? I think Miss Moore. Get the f out of here. Hi, Miss Moore. Where are you the person? Miss Moore has a gun. Moore has a gun, okay. What is she gonna do with that gun? Is she gonna hurt somebody? Why is everybody so mad here? What was that? What? What the f just touched me? I just heard a noise over here by the door. Ooh, chills right now. It's not like something like I took a step over by the door. It's very loud. Did you have a camera on me? Yeah. Something just touched me on the back. Really? Like, not just like the tingling sensation or like the creepy girl effect that I just had. It almost felt like something like this in my shoulders. Like right on my Oh like, boy. Like my shoulders were here. It was like someone put two hands on my back and the fingers were on my shoulders. Precisely. That's really weird. I don't like that. I don't like that there's a door behind me. Did you, do you remember if you said, did you, did you say Miss Moore? I don't know. I, I'm not, that's the thing. I, I probably say this in every video, but like you know. I'm so focused in, in trying to find the uh, anomalies in between the static that I'm, 
I'm, I'm just looking for the word. When it gets to that word, I spit it out and then. Mm -hmm. um, I think I heard you say Miss Moore and I asked for a name, so that was kind of cool. But then someone had a gun, so things got a little weird at the end there. I do remember something about the gun. That was right as you wrapped it up. Hold on. What? Where? For real? Yo, someone, they, this, it, this might have been the first area that we've caught. Over there, way over there, like where, way over there where we parked the van. It, it just looks like it was a completely white apparition went from right to left. Past that gazebo in there. No, sir. Look, look, look. Hang on. What is that? Is something moving? Yeah, there's something moving. Let's go. Ah! What's that? There's something attacking us over here. Oh. Hey. Damn. I almost looked like I saw it. Dude, there's a voice coming from somewhere. 100% voice coming from somewhere. All right, we are in the Catholic Church right now. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate with us? I'm sorry I don't speak Latin, but if you talk to us, we can have somebody decipher it later on. We'll know what you were saying. That's cool. Hey, what's going on? My name's Chris. My friend CJ is sitting up front. Could you say one of our names? Or tell us your name even. Was anybody ever injured or, or hurt here? Did anybody ever die here? Anything bad happen in this you church? What have I reached? You gotta elaborate a little bit for me. Hey, we're listening, so please talk to us. We just wanna communicate with you. Well, where is he? So I can see him. He's here. Really? Where's this boy you're talking about? Have a seat. It says she have a seat. No bullshit, maybe that was nuts. 
That's weird. You want to come sit over here in the pew? I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to try to stand here. You're going to piss it off? What was that? Bro, there's a light outside. Was that your light? I seen a light right there. Turn to your right. All right, oh God. Turn yours that way, to the left. Go that way. Try to go like that way. All right, go back. Damn, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Maybe keep your eyes open for this so we can try to see if we see any shadow figures or no. So keep my eyes open. I'm just wondering because that's what they report, remember? True. See if you see anything. I'm trying to look around too. I'm getting so much static feedback and this thing's not even on. That's weird. I don't know why. There's nothing out here. We're in the middle of nowhere. Who were we just talking to? I heard you say CJ's name. That's pretty cool. How powerful are you? Could you manifest yourself for us? Is there anything you'd like to tell us about you, your story, anything that happened here? So we can spread the proper information to people who come and go at this place? Hmm. There's something behind me. Can you make a noise for us? Is there anything you can do? I want to know how powerful you are. Take the energy from one of our lights if you want to. That's fine. Turn my light off. You move. CJ did move. He's standing up now. Would you like him to sit down? Go ahead and touch him. Breathe on him. Ow! Get out of here. Dude, what? It's, a, it's another piercing wound in this thing. Remember when I was coming at that? Yeah. Dude, as soon as that happened, a bug flew off you. Really? <laughs> that was weird. A bug flew off? Yeah, I thought it was like an orb or something. I think it was a bug. As soon as you moved. Like getting your name was kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know how cool that was, Chris, but yeah, it's cool. That have had to have been. I, I don't. I don't know. Somebody. Here, it's like somebody here. Like, do we? Uh, do we just go check it out? It came from this barn. So it came from the barn, clearly, right? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Well, 
What the hell could have sneezed that loud though? Deer maybe? Huh? Maybe a deer. Do deer sneeze? They do like a hissing thing. They do? Like a... Might have been. Yeah, the crap on me one time. Hmm? I had a deer scare me one time. There's a blacksmith shop there. Are there animals back here? Oh my gosh, it's a damn... Uh, oh, we got goats back here. Uh, she's a copper goat or something. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, thank goodness. Little goats. What the hell was that? There's more, there's more. Oh shit, there's goats over here too. Chickens or something. Oh. Where are they? Oh, look at them. There's a rabbit. The hell is that? Good gosh, them things are huge. <laughs> they will kill you. Look at all the eyes. That's so creepy. I feel a little better now. Okay, yeah, I'm 110% I'm better now. Should we split up now? Yeah, I'm going there. Yeah, I'll go in here. You want to go get some directions from some ghosts? Try to. All right, good luck, buddy. Thanks. All right, I'm going to go lights out in here. All right, so you all can see what I see. That's it. All right, so CJ's in there. I am trying to get to school. I wanna know if I can get directions to the school. So I'm gonna turn on the spirit box right now, guy that right in front of me. See if they will bring me to school. Are there any spirits here with us? Hey there, I'm looking to get to the school. I was wondering if you could direct me. I'm a little bit lost right now. Front? Did it just say front? Did it just say front? Hey there. How was that? Evil? I'm not evil. I just want to go to school. Was your teacher evil? Alright, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to start walking around. Can somebody tell me where the school is, please? Hey Chris, you got the keys of the van? What's up? You got the keys of the van? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I need to go to it really quick. The lights are on in it for some reason. Huh. I don't know if I didn't shut a door or something. Oh, maybe. Huh, that's weird. Last thing we need is a dead battery when we had no cell phone this second. Yeah, good point, good point. I like that idea. You see my light? You see me standing here? 
So I'm out here in the middle of town and I'm trying to get to the school. Well, I was wondering if anybody could help me. I'm a little lost. I see this house right here. Can you tell me what direction I need to go? Is there anybody out here with me? Any children? I know I used to play over here in the yard. Oh my god, that was a child. It said me. Hey there, can you tell me where the school is? Structure. structure. Yeah, I'm looking for a school. It's a big structure. I used to learn there. Do you know where the school is? Can anybody help me? Are there any children here still? I heard you say me. Am I going in the right direction? Can you say left, straight, right, forward, backward? That was a child again. Jeez. It's hard to tell what it said. Am I going in the right direction? I thought I could just like, go forward more. Jeez. Alright, so I'm going the right way then. I'm getting closer to the school. Oh, that's the church. Alright, so Chris is over there. Break out here and uh, start a necrophonic session here as I'm walking around. Help your friend? Did you say help your friend? William. Hi, how are you? Why do I need to help my friend? Evil. What's evil? I just said in front of you. Holy crap. I think you just said in front of me. Is that what you said? My name's Chris. What's your name? Directed him. He did direct me. That was really cool. Thank you for that. Appreciate the help. I can see the school right there now. You were right. Hmm. I wanted to get to the governor's house. Which way would I go? Is it opposite? Followed you. Who followed me? <laughs> Tell me who followed me. Richard. 
Richard. Okay. Go where? That. All right. What was moving back here? What just moved back here? What moved back here? Watch out for what? Oh my god, that's I think it's he's. I hate spiders. Can any of the children talk to me? I want to know some information about your teacher. I heard that the teacher was very mean. Oh, scream. Anything else you want to tell me before I wrap this up? Anything good working for you, Chris? Is that? Is it did it work? Ah, uh, dude, I we're gonna have to like play this back, but I'm pretty sure I got like really clear directions. Really? And then I asked if there were any children here because I was standing in the yard and it said me in a kid's voice. No way. Very, very clear. That was a really cool session. Yeah, that was accurate. Bring that thing in here. We're going to go to the doctor's office. Oh boy, it's time for an operation. <clears throat> hey Chris, can you stop moving for just a second? What are you seeing? All right, I don't know. I saw eyeballs down there earlier, so I was a little bit skeptical about going down there. Hey, uh, doctor. Can you help me out here, please? Dr. Harrison, if you're in here, I need some help. All right, you want to sit right there? Yeah. All right, I'll sit right here. Fire that, uh, fire that box up. Let's um, let's see what we can get. Yeah. Dr. Harrison, are you in here? Is there any doctor in here? Say hello, gentlemen. What's that? Sound like I said hello, gentlemen. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. What's going on? It said, but hello. Okay. Hey, um, I've got a headache. Can you prescribe me medicine? Yes. I don't like it. Almost so compli it's complicated. Can you evaluate me? What's that? Some in principle maybe? Hmm. Could you help CJ out? He needs some medicine. He needs an operation done on him. Do you know what you're doing? Hmm. 
Is the dentist here with us? Is there anyone here who wants to communicate with us? Me. Okay, what's your name? Is the portal? There's four of them? Four of them? Are there four people in here? Are you a victim of a surgery gone wrong in here? Yes. That was very clear. What happened? What did you have operated on? And what, what went wrong? Doctor, how many people died in here? Do you not want to tell us? It sounded like thousands. What'd it say? I don't know, I couldn't tell. It was very clear though. Did it say window? That's what it sounded like. Are you watching us through the window? Could you come inside and talk to us? I guess so. Let's go. Come on in, Doc. Hey. Hey. Do you mind that we're sitting in here? Or would you like us to leave? Can you make a noise for us? What'd that say? I thought it said Steve or Lee. No, probably Lee. You know if you're sitting in front of a window? I didn't even think about that. Oh my god. Watching me through the window. And it said window. Yes. Are you talking about me? What's that saying? Who are you? My name's CJ. My name's Chris. We're here to talk to you and tell your story. Fools? Mm -hmm. Sound like you said fools. You know we can hear everything you're saying? Okay, what the hell is that? Who was that? Or what was that? It almost sound like that metal stuff moved. Like something like moving. Something, something metal definitely moved. Is the dentist here? Mmm, that might, that could have maybe been it, I don't know. I mean, hard to tell.
We're gonna leave if you don't keep talking to us. You probably want that. All right, let's cut. Just when I thought we couldn't run out of ideas. <laughs> really turning this up. Here we are gonna try and uh, round up some goats in the general store. So uh, this is gonna be something new and different. Let's try this out. I'm ready. Welcome to the Billy General Store. I heard General Store. What can I get you? Tell us what you want. We'll go get it for you. Welcome to Billy Creek General Store. What can I help you with? What does that say? Oh. Candy bar? Bar. Yeah. See candy if there's bar. a candy bar around here. Like, maybe we'll get a candy bar? Did you say candy bar? I don't see anything. Soda. Soda pop. Soda pop. Yes. All right, we're gonna go pick one off of there. Three of them. Three of them. Okay. Is this actually working? Sounds like it. And right, we got three different flavors. There. What? Hopefully, I, right hopefully I picked the right ones. We'll see. All right, I've got my favorite. It's my favorite. All right, let me ring you up. It's fifty cents. How? No. Why no? I thought I said different flavor. Different flavor? Help us help you. Tell us what you want. Hold on a second. What? Like, hold on a second. Listen, hold on a second. Okay, well, hold on a second. Maybe it's picking the flavor it wants. Huh? It's picking the flavor it wants, maybe. Oh. This is kind of cool, but very weird at the same time. Yes. Again, it's another one of these moments when I graduated high school, I did not think I'd be like picking sodas out for this. Yeah. I didn't think it would be. No? No plans? No. All right, tell us, tell us what you want. We're about to close the store up, so if you need anything else, you gotta let us know. Five. What is that? Five. In five? We're closing in two minutes. Get your shit and get out. Better hurry up and grab your stuff. It's like I said, strawberry.
What'd you say? I heard simpler times. All right, store closes in one minute, folks. Come get your stuff. Check on out. Did it say something up? I heard five o'clock. Five o'clock? Yeah, yeah, it's five o'clock. That's right. What do you think? Nine to five? The bed? Clean up time? It's closed. It's closed. Yep, we are officially closed. Thank you. Thank you for your business. I'm not get I'm not done getting things. Very clear. Alright, one more minute. One more minute and then we're gonna close, okay? You want me to grab that for you? Like, are we, were we just a part of the store or were we witnessing like the store owner or like, like one of the cashiers said, you want me to grab that for you? Operating, like someone's behind the counter. Absolutely. Possibly. That's weird. It's like the spirits of the town still think the town is operable like this, right? Mm -hmm. That was really cool. I think you're right. Different. I just wanted to try that. Those all I, I related, though. Those all related to being in the store. Help you grab things. Yeah. Five o'clock, which probably Fla was closing time. Flavor. Yeah. I heard strawberry. strawberry. Uh, is there a strawberry flavor over there? Is that what I grabbed? I don't know. Did you? The red one? Root beer, cherry limeade, oh, maybe not, and uh, blue cream soda. There might be a strawberry over there. Let me go look. Is it a strawberry over there? That proves the point that that was what was happening and that wasn't just a coincidence or an anomaly of some sort. Yeah. Cherry limeade, orange soda. Jeez, all this looks so good. Black cherry, key lime, cardinal cream. Root beer, orange pop, voodoo. That's weird. Maple. Citrus plast root beer. Cherry, grape soda, raspberry, pink lemonade. They have literally everything except for strawberry. All right, well. True, they could have been looking for strawberry and we didn't have it, you know? All right, everybody, store's gonna open back up. All right, so uh, Chris is gonna stay out here and he is going to, well, it is almost 1 a.m. And uh, we're actually at five minutes from 1 a.m. So Chris is gonna go out into the middle there. Chris was gonna go out in the middle there. Chris is gonna get back in the van. <laughs> Chris is going back in the van. I am headed to the governor's house right here. And I'm gonna spend a nice little amount of time in here while Chris is listening for the horse carriage, supposedly that is heard through the town. I think I've gotta go through this side door. What do you think? That's a little wet. Oh my gosh, damn. I'm just gonna walk over here, I guess. Hang out with Charlotte. She's making her web. Hello, governor. Is there any spirit? Sorry y'all, I'm in infrared and, and you all have to understand that like, all right, so I'm, I'm gonna show you this. All right, that's what it looks like in person. That's what it looks like when I'm looking through this. I turn the corner and then bam, there's a, a dress right there. Jeez. 
My God. All right. Well, if there's any spirits in here that were sleeping, you're not anymore now. Y'all don't know if you hear anything. <laughs> oh my God, he screamed so loud. It scared me. He stopped screaming, so I think he's okay. I'm gonna put my rim pod right there. I'm gonna sit right beside. All right, what are you trying to tell me? What are you, what are you trying to tell me right now? You're being really persistent over there with that. Can you stop touching that for just a second for me? Hello? I'm gonna turn that off if you don't listen to me. I saw a shadow. Something move over there by the fan. Steps, maybe even hopes walking on the rocks. I thought that was total BS when I heard that story, but damn. I don't think it is anymore. All right, I'm gonna, uh, if you will, obviously you're, you're wanting to be pretty active because you were touching my device over there. Now I want you to speak into my, uh, Spirit box over here and um, just communicate with me. What is your name? What's your name? I just heard like a whisper or something. It says here your name was Joseph Albert Wright. Is that true? You know, I, I would really love to know your name. Maybe if you could, uh...
Look up. I can't see anything because it's dark in here. standing right here in this doorway. I can't see it, but I know there's a doorway here and it feels like someone's here. Is someone standing in this doorway right here? Me? Okay. What's your name? It was a female who said it. What's your name? Missy? I feel your presence over here. I, I feel very strange. What happened? Chris! Yo, where are you? Yo, I'm inside here. Yo, come here real quick. That door, I, it don't open. Bro, there's somebody out here? Bro, somebody's laughing. There's someone laughing? Yeah. My camera definitely just caught that. There's someone laughing? <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Alright, before you go in that room, okay, there's a damn, uh, uh, a black dress sitting up over there, first off. And then second off, I saw your leg over here. I swear to you, man, it felt like someone's standing right here. I'm glad you got your light on, because like, the cell phone light ain't cutting it, dude. I, I feel, I felt like somebody was right here, and I, I said to, um, I said, is there anyone right here? And it was me, and it was a female voice. I was like, okay, can you tell me your name? I don't know what the hell's moved in there. I've not gotten up, and I've not gone in there to check. Something moved? Something fell over. Like, crash, crashed over. Oh. What? That black dress. Oh, okay, I thought you said that fell over. I was about to piss myself. Dude, what fell over? I don't say anything. I should get that out of there. That drawer's open. I don't, was that drawer open on my video? I don't know. Nah, it don't even go in or out, barely. It don't even go in. What fell? I don't see anything unless something got like hit up against the wall or. Something back here, maybe? So you, did you, you were laughing outside? Yes. I'm 99% sure my camera picked that up. That was so loud. What is it with... What was that? I don't know. So that plays into the theory of kids laughing out there then? 100%. Laughing. No, no question. And I got an EVP of a child earlier out there. It said me, so. Proven. Okay, so we can say that is definitely proven out yeah. there. I was standing in the middle and I could, one time I heard the sound like the, the hooves moving. That sh 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 sound like someone was walking. And it's a one, 108, 109. Then whatever. I heard footsteps in the grass. I heard a couple loud bangs in, in the building, that one building, the general store. It's not like bangs inside of there, like two loud boosh. Like someone like hit the wall or something. I'm confused. Is there an attic to this place maybe? I don't think there is. Is there? 
Hang on this one for a sec. Literally nothing. Uh, literally nothing else. So I, well, I don't understand what fell over in here. Because it, I, I don't... I am running low on sleep. Mm -hmm. We both are. Yeah. But I'm not that tired where I'm hallucinating. No, not that. I know that's that. a fact. I was so happy when I heard, or not heard, but saw your light. And I was like, maybe if I got hot enough, Chris will come in here. Yeah, that's weird. The energy is so weird outside right now. Really? It's very uncomfortable. I felt fine by myself earlier, but I felt really uncomfortable out there. Also, a tiny little mouse I saw. Some freaking out over here, like that big. My edge. So what we experienced tonight is the start of something new, okay? And what I mean by the start of something new is basically it's the start of writing the history of the village, the Billy Creek Village. One of the very few people who have ever gone there and filmed and um, I'm kind of proud to say that, which is really cool. So let's get down to it when we really want to talk about some things. The noise inside the house, completely unexplainable. It did come from the room where I did feel that that lady was standing in the doorway. I'm presuming that's a lady because that's what came across the spirit box. So that's what I'm going with there. In the general store, let's wrap up on that one. That was really cool. We had some anomalies happen right there. Again, do I think it's coincidence? No, I don't. I actually think that was um, people who thought they were literally in the general store and, and buying stuff from Chris and I, which was kind of cool. Uh, awesome. It's pretty neat. The church. Let's talk about the first church that we went into, which was the... Uh, oh, what Baptist? was that? Statues, yeah. The Baptist church. No, no, no. Catholic. The Catholic church. The Catholic church with the Latin writing and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, th I thought we were going to do the spirit box there and, and get some really, really good answers with the SC's method. I was disappointed. Super, super disappointed, actually. We're trying to go through these videos and see uh, what, you know, how we can connect the dots. Was there anything that, especially here with the history that hasn't really been written yet with this village, is there anything that we may have stumbled across that uh, you all would have probably picked up at, you know, throughout the video or we may have not picked up while we were filming it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's roll that clip. All right, so we're here at the end of the video and I wanted to say that we're headed back for a three day stint at Billy Creek Village. The reason that I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take my toter home and every piece of equipment, every camera I own, and we're gonna set up the most insane investigation ever. I didn't really know if this place was like creepy, haunted, insane, whatever it could be, but I think this has a, a lot of potential to show some answers forecasted out there that have uh, been brought to the light in, in this video alone. So it's really important that if you all have any theories about this village or have any theories about anything that you heard, you saw, you felt while watching the video, please pause right now, comment below, let me know. And uh, we're gonna be heading back for about three or four days. We're gonna compile that into probably a big series. And uh, yeah, we're gonna spend the night out there. And uh, well, as much as I don't want to, <laughs> probably need to do it in the fall. <laughs> Mosquitoes were huge, bro. <laughs> like they were massive, Dylan. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> if you were there, you'd have been like, "Damn, was that an eagle?" So anyway, without further ado, love y'all so much. Don't forget to go to don't blah, 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 blah. don't forget to go to shopmotivated.com. I have put some mystery boxes here on the website, so go check those out right now. Link down in the description. Shop motivated. Love y'all. Boom. See ya.